So my art went from this and now this. As you can see, most of my improvement happened only in the last 5 months. And I'm going to share to you the 6 things I did that helped improve my art. And they are not the usual art advice you will hear. 6. Draw in silhouettes. At some point, you gotta stop your over-reliance on the Loomis method and boxes and cylinders to draw figures. Stop it. Get some help. Don't get me wrong, they are still very important because they teach you how to see and interpret orientations. But these things also teaches you how to draw stiff poses. Try to learn how to draw in silhouettes instead. At some point, you as an artist, you need to learn how to think in boxes without actually drawing a box. Only then you can start feeling your poses when drawing figures. Let's take a metronome for example. A baby guitarist is gonna need a lot of help from a metronome to get his rhythm. But a big boy guitarist has already internalized the beat and will no longer need the help of a metronome. So now he can start playing the guitar with feelings because he is no longer constrained by the analytical aspect of playing the guitar. I know it's hard to internalize boxes and cylinders but it will get a lot easier with the help of Squarespace. Just kidding guys, I'm not a big channel, I only have 400 subs, but you can help. It will get easier to internalize forms with the help of art tools, yes, art tools, like the hand mannequin and the body chan. So if I'm thinking of a torso in this orientation, all I need to do is to position this thing on the same orientation then copy the silhouette. With the box out of the way, I can now just focus on the V-curves and the C-curves of the figure. And so this example, I've really debated putting in here because it turned into a bit of a fiasco with this little mannequin. But what this is, it's a Japanese mannequin that I got. I got a few of them um, just to use as reference. I don't really use them, to be totally honest. Maybe this is not the best example to throw into this lesson, but I thought it would still be very useful just to see that you can use a model like this and use it as just a bit of a guide for how to draw your own uh, pelvis in space if it's a bit of a challenge. It's kind of goofy to see a body chan got this, but it's not flexible anyways, and doing this also helps you draw really difficult angles with ease. These tools are optional. There are free posing softwares you can use. You can even trace them if you want. You're not gonna have your art license revoked if you traced poses. Nobody cares how you made your art. People only care about the end results. Except the people from Twitter. They're gonna X you out from the list of legit artists if they found out you traced poses. Not kidding. The downside of the hand mannequin though is that it can only move in the Y axis. It is not very flexible. Number 4. Have a go-to pose. Not the food. Memorize a few poses. One facing front and one three-quarter view. This will help you draw even on days when your brain just don't want to think. To keep your art blood flow circulating, after all mileage is still improvement. It is also useful when I have sudden ideas on a character design. You take out your sketchbook then you draw really quick without too much thinking because the pose is already memorized. Nothing feels better than drawing without tension. Very relaxed. And this is also the first step towards drawing from imagination. Number 3. Create an OC. I know many of you already has an OC. If you don't have one yet, you should really find a way to have one. You're really missing out a lot, sadly. Imagine you have an OC that you already memorized from head to toe. And then you have several poses memorized. Whoa, you will be unstoppable. It will help producing art faster and also very important when you're doing a style study. Having a pose and a character memorized will help you draw faster. Drawing fast is essential when doing an art style study. Speaking of art style, let's now move on to the art style territory. Number 2. Embrace AI. 
Let's face it, AI isn't going anywhere and it's only gonna keep improving from now on. AI knows what every pro artist knows about art. So why don't we take advantage of that? Like this for example. This shows AI's amazing attention to detail. So what I did, I applied all these amazing details on my own art. Although I didn't render it as good as AI. This is some details I could never thought of on my own. Not with my current potato skill level and knowledge. Number 1. Analyze your favorite artist's art style. If you notice, my improvement skyrocketed in March of this year. This was my art on February and this is my art in March. Somewhere in between Feb and March, I discovered a YouTuber named TPPO or Tipo. This is Ogun or Mudari. Basically, if you didn't know, this guy drew every day for 100 days straight, producing masterpieces after masterpieces. He makes videos about analyzing then copying a popular artist's art style. Then he goes telling his viewers what he learned. 10 in 10 in educational value and 10 in 10 in entertainment value because his editing skills is top notch. This video in particular changed my art life. This is Mika Picasso, a Japanese illustrator most well known for her unique pop illustration style and works in some small projects such as Fire Emblem and also some indie YouTube. And here's the final outcome of this study. After watching this, I studied Mika Picasso and listed all the characteristics of her style. Then I came up with this. Also, my new art style is influenced by multiple artists. I learned the almond shape eye from Mika Picasso, the golden coloring style from Ask, and the painting style is from someone who is not an anime artist, John Singer Sargent. I love how if you look the art from afar, they look like they were rendered solidly. Zoom in, you will see visible brush strokes. Alright, hope you learned something from the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. See ya.